Welcome to another episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break. I'm Carlin, your host for this. Um, just to let you know what's going on, just got finished uh, lawn mowing out there, and hopefully that's the last one of 2014. Hoping. Uh, but what better way to, you know, give myself a little bit of a treat than to try a three-way? Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Not that kind of podcast. Don't you worry. Brutal Battle is not that kind of podcast. Anyway, I'm talking about Three-Way IPA. It's a special release beer. It was a summer seasonal, but it was, this one was canned back in July, so we're still within a good time frame. Um, IPAs you probably want to enjoy within like 90 days of their bottling or canning in this case. Um, But anyway, this one is called Three-Way. You can also see there's three guys wailing on righteous axes, as some people might say. Uh, and this is by three breweries out of Oregon, uh, worked on this one together. Fort George, which I don't know anything about. Um, Block 15, which I've had their Sticky Hands uh, Imperial IPA, which is really nice. And Boneyard, which I haven't had any of their stuff, but I heard great things about like their Hop Venom and their RPM. So, got high hopes for this beer. This also was one. Thank you very much to Dawn Bowling. She muled it back from her trip to Oregon, so... I wouldn't be uh, enjoying, hopefully enjoying this beer without her help. So thank you. So let's go ahead and crack this sucker. Glad it's in a can. Love my beers in cans. It's more eco-friendly and all that jazz. All right. So pour myself a little bit. This is a decent head to it there. Let's see, so you can see three-way. Um, very orange. It does say on the can that it's... Um, It's not filtered, so there is going to be some sediment in it. Although it's been sitting upright for a while in my fridge, so a lot of sediment's probably at the bottom, um, which is fine. It's also 7.2% alcohol by volume. You can see it's pretty orange, um, a little hazy. You can see that there is some sediment kind of floating around in it. Um, Oh my gosh. That is how I love my IPAs to smell. Oh man. It's just like lupulin, you know, the uh, the oil that comes out of hops. It's just like so much citrusy as hell. I mean, I get grapefruit out of the wazoo on this. <sighs> Tangerine, grapefruit. And I'm going to be honest, I don't get a whole lot of bitterness. Like sometimes it kind of smells like some citrus rind. I'm not really getting much of any citrus rind type smell. I'm mainly just getting like grapefruit fruit. That is the thing that is at the forefront of this beer. And God, it smells so good. Mm, man, West Coast IPA to a T with the way it smells. Mm. Oh, you obviously get the bitterness on the uh, on the mouth, but man, it is so in check, and you just get like grapefruit, like smacking you like crazy. Hmm. It's so hoppy. It's like, it's so much hops to it. I feel like this t- kind of like tingling on my tongue. It's like all of my uh, my taste buds are just kind of like standing at attention as soon as the beer hits it. Really nice. The grapefruit, but you are getting like a nice bitterness at the end that's kind of like the grapefruit fruit up front and then it gives way to kind of like grapefruit rind type flavor. But I mean, God, it's, it smells amazing. But it, it's, it's grapefruit kind of all the way through to me mm. the mouthfeel to it is pretty much what you would expect actually maybe a little bit more watery than i would expect from how you know hoppy and, and thick it kind of smells to me um but you know totally fine Noth- nothing really complain about on this one so awesome um let me see if there's any sort of extra information on this one no it just kind of says who does it it does say make sure that you don't, you know, age it, that there is sediment in there, keep it refrigerated. Yeah, never, never, never age your hoppy beers. Uh, And like I said, within, you know, the best times like within 90 days of like the canning or bottling, or some breweries will have a a best buy date, which is really nice. I know Six Point does that a lot. So good job for Six Point. Uh, In this case, Block 15, Boneyard and Fort George, I believe it's Fort George. Yes, Fort George. Sorry, Fort George. (laughs) Great job with this beer. Uh, I look forward to having 
hopefully trying some more Fort George stuff in the future. I'd love to get some Boneyard stuff, and I actually have another Sticky Hands in the basement by Block 15. I'm very excited by that. Um, Dawn Bowling, thank you again. The Block 15 is from her as well. So thank you so much, everyone. Stay tuned for the next one. Who knows what beer I'm going to have next time.